Hello and welcome to DC TV. I'm Sam. And I'm Maddie. Today is Valentine's Day. Amber, Maddie, and Chad have the story. Valentine's Day is a popular day for couples to spend together. It is traditionally associated with red hearts, romance, flowers, candy, or other sweet things. Valentine's Day is today. Let's see some of DC's couples and see if they have anything planned. My Valentine's Day for this year is Edmund Birkenstad. My Valentine's Day for this year is Malaya. I'm not sure what I'm doing for Valentine's Day. We are going to Naveen on Valentine's Day. Yes, I am getting him something. Can't say what. I am getting her something for Valentine's Day, yes. Uh, my Valentine's date this year is Grant Gracco. My Valentine is Carmen Ajo. Yeah, Valentine's Day falls on our six month anniversary and we're going to Applebee's. For Valentine's Day, I'm gonna take her to Applebee's. I'm getting him a Patagonia sweatshirt and another little surprise. Oh, uh, flowers chocolate and something else. We asked the same people why they think red is the color for Valentine's Day. These were their responses. Red is the color of Valentine's Day because it's the classic color of hearts. I think red is the color for Valentine's Day because it represents the heart. I think red is the color for Valentine's Day because it symbolizes love. And why do you think red is the color for Valentine's Day? Red. <laughs> if you're spending Valentine's Day alone, I hope you know it's not just you. Here's Darby crying. About Sam and Darby have this week's sports update. Hello and welcome to Sports and Activities Update. I'm Sam, and first off, let's send it over to Darby with Charger Game Day. Welcome back to Charger Game Day with myself, Darby Holliden. Today, I am joined by two hockey players, Logan and Mason. Both of you, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Darby. Yep. Appreciate it, Darby. No problem. Nice being here. <laughs> so first question, what does it feel like when you're in practice, you get all on in the slot, you see a little opening, a glove hand side, you rip it, quick flash of green leather, nothing. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts on that? You, you, can, you start. Well, you know, Darby, <laughs> The thing about that is that that's just usually doesn't happen. Swiss. We got Swiss back there. Slow glove. So, I mean, in practice, when mm. you're talking, just going and seeing fast green leather, I mean, it doesn't happen that much unless you're, like, caging that. But Ever since that starter got out, we've been doing <laughs> way better. Really oh. yeah. We've been, we've so, been lightening okay. up. But, but back, okay. to, but back okay. to the question. How do I feel? I mean, <laughs> if it ever did happen, I'd be a little bit embarrassed because oh, it's like... no. First time, you know? But, yeah. But yeah, okay. that's how I feel. I don't know how he feels. So what, what are your thoughts on the game on Monday then? We lost to Hutch. What are your what are your opinions? What did we do wrong? What should we done better? Well, you know, we've had some guys though, injuries, you know. I wasn't playing. And the best There's player of all is just it? coming straight off of an injury, you know. Had a really broken, busted up toe, you know. I heard the guy played with it though. He played, he's oh, got heart. He he's played, got grit. He plays with grit. What's your go-to move on a breakaway if you get a chance to get on a breakaway in a game, real game? Go-to move. Let me go first. You got this one. A little backhand, forehand, cheese, you know? Backhand, forehand, back to the backhand, cheese, top left. You? I'm more of a Miko Koivu, <laughs> bread and butter kind of guy, you know, coming slow, wide, take it wide, then right at the last moment, cut back and ding! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And usually I have a ton of time because I'm yeah. super fast. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> so next question. You guys have had decent chemistry throughout the years. Oh, why do you, what do you think contributes to that? Like why is that? Well, you know, when we were growing up just as we lads, we lived right next door. The Benson Rink came in huge. The Benson oh. Rink. Boys were out there putting in the hours, you know. A little tic tac cup out in the backyard. Yeah, sure. yeah. The chem started I'd say probably second year Pee Wees. The boys really started. Yeah. You know, finding a groove, you know, just... Yeah. They yeah, know, know. yeah. <laughs> this, know, guy, yeah. this guy's been feeding me the puck since, I don't know, as long as I can remember. He's no, like, yeah. this guy has been no, giving me no. giving me assists since day one. No, you've been giving me assists since day one. No, you've been No, giving. you. You're such a good player. No, you, you're, you're, like no, the you're good. You're, 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 you're okay. I love okay. you. <laughs> 
Okay. What do you okay, guys? Okay. Next question. What are you guys' thoughts on the season so far? It's been a tough look. Next not question. Gonna, <laughs> tough look. Not gonna lie. No comment. Okay. I mean, we've had we our ups a, and downs. We have a tough schedule. We have a tough schedule, but we've had some ups and downs for sure. When playoffs yeah. roll around, it's gonna be a whole different story. Oh. Gus That's Davis, right. be there, ladies and gents. Peak at, a, peak at the right time, right? Big oh, yeah. game coming up. Um, in your opinion, what would you like to see out of the team going into playoffs? I think we just need a little bit more grit. Like, we just got to get to those dirty areas in front of the net, <laughs> grind in the corners, you know? Yeah. Pucks to the net. Start laying the bot a little bit more. Yeah. Yep. You know, we got to put some guys to the glass. I feel ya. Get it deep and grind. Yep. That's <laughs> the way you do it. <laughs> So, final question. What has been the highlight of you guys' season so far? Your personal highlight. Plain and simple. Sniping on darbs in practice. <laughs> tossing in a chirp afterwards. Oh, okay. Tossing in a chirp afterwards. And he's oh. just rattled in that. He, he, he'll fight you all practice. And he'll just be like, darbs, I snipe on you, buddy. Two days, two days, and I'll be back in that shoot or yeah, taking shot. Days. Give me two days. Two days. You can't even stand up with your ankle, buddy. <laughs> buddy, I saw you yesterday in the ice. You walked in here with a walker. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> My favorite part, so the entire day leading up to practice, just talking smack Darby. He's already just shaking. And then when I come to practice, I'm like, Darby, guess how many times I'm gonna score to you on you? He's like, how many? I'm like all of them. <laughs> so then you go Doesn't down happen. the ice, ting, oh. score on him, and he's like, I hate you so much. And I'm like, all right, buddy. And he's sitting there crying the whole time. What? Coach has to stop practice because Darby's crying. And he's like, my ankle hurts. I need a salad. <laughs> I need oh. a salad. <laughs> okay. Well, so true. Well, I appreciate you boys for joining me today. It's no. Good. Good, good luck scoring. I and, appreciate uh, you, boy. Good luck saving and, the puck. And practice in a couple days when I'm back oh, in that. Easy. Okay, Darby. <laughs> back to you, Sam. Thanks, Darby. And you know what? Let's send it back to you with another edition of Charger Game Day. Thank you, Sam, and welcome back to another episode of Charger Game Day with myself, Darby Hollinen. Today, I'm very pleased to be joined with gymnast Kiana Keith. Kiana, welcome to the show. Thanks, Darby. So how long have you been competing in gymnastics? I've been competing in gymnastics for 14 years, and I started when I was three years old. Hmm. So, which events do you compete in? I compete in all of them, so I do all around. Hmm. Which is your favorite? Uh, my favorite event is probably beam. Can you do like flips on the beam or anything? Just curious. Uh, yeah, I can do like back handspring and back handspring. That long. seems difficult. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Have you had any injuries in your time being a gymnast? Yeah, I've had a couple, just like sprains and fractures and concussions. Did you just like nail your head on the beam or what? I did actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. That sounds painful. What's the most difficult routine you've had to do? Um, probably my bar routine, just like difficult. Is that the one where you like jump up on the bar and like go spin around, flip up in the air or anything like that? Okay, yep, that's that, what that is. That <laughs> Um, how was your transition from going to club gymnastics to high school gymnastics? Uh, it was like tough at first, but I really enjoy high school gymnastics and I mean it still is just as like intense as club. Yeah. yeah like nice. So moving over towards like how has the season been going for the team so far? Uh, the season's been going really well. I think that everyone has been doing really well and they've been getting new skills and you know, yeah. <clears throat> With uh, sections coming up, what are you guys looking to improve on in practice? Anything in particular or just keep going with what you're doing? Yeah, we want to keep going with what we're doing, but we also want to hopefully get a new record for the yeah. all around for everybody. Yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you for joining me today and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Back to you, Sam. Thanks, Darby. Tonight, girls basketball will be in mound at 5.30 and boys basketball will be also in mound at 7.00. Tomorrow, gymnastics has section playoffs. Thank you and good luck to all the teams. During last week's Unified Basketball Tournament, DCTV did a live stream of the event. Myself and Chad go into detail about the story. As most of you may well know, DCTV did a live stream of the Unified Basketball Tournament last week. Thanks to Larson, DCTV was able to put together a four hour live stream using two cameras and having our boy Darby on the play-by-play. -play. 
Overall, it was a successful first live stream, and we will be doing another live stream of a basketball game on February 18th, starting at 7 o'clock on the DCTV YouTube channel. Here are some highlights from last week's Unified Basketball Games. Ethan, going back the other direction. Oh! Wow! That was incredible. Oh my gosh. Sanders just... Wow. All right, so I am back with Sanders and Ethan. We uh, just witnessed a high-speed collision. Sanders sort of pushing uh, Ethan out of bounds, and the chair is going flying. What, uh, what, you, what happened over there? Uh, I was playing really good defense on him, and apparently he sucks, and he went flying. Wow, OK. Uh, and Ethan's perspective? Um, I don't know. There's a dog barking in the bushes or something. It distracted me. I wasn't ready for the hardcore defense. And those chairs really blend in with the floor. I don't know who put them there, but they were they were trying to they were trying to kill me. Uh, my funeral's next week, y'all. You all are invited. I died in front of the whole school. Thank you, thank you both. All right, all right. All right uh, we're taking a break here at the halftime here on our DCTV production of the Unified Tournament uh, between Descato Chargers and the Annandale Cardinals. With me today are some of the coaches of the team. Coach Majelski. What's one of the biggest things that goes into planning this tournament? It's the first time it's here at the Aspicato, but it's, you know, planning the huge part. So what's kind of gone all into that? Um, Coach P, actually, who had recently moved, he was in charge of kind of putting it together, and then we just worked on the details. How fun was it just to see all the kids here with big smiles on their faces and having a great time? Well, it's always great, just the teamwork and the kindness and uh, just just the sportsmanship. It's great. And, you know, earlier the pep band was in here and, you know, we had a good turnout of students. Unfortunately, it's kind of during the lunch hour now and they're kind of coming in and out. But how cool is that just to see the school come together to support everybody here? That was our initial goal of Unified Week is to try to get everybody to come together and support these kids and everything that they do. All right. So hopefully again next year we'll be looking at another Unified Tournament, hopefully back here at Basco Cato. And it's a great opportunity for the kids and for the fans, and we thank you for all your hard work putting this together. Thanks for watching this week's episode of DCTV. We'll see you next week.